Hey everyone, this is Mike. And I'm Michelle. And this is Lovey's Fat Life. And today we're checking out the Carnival Magic and our list of pros and things that we loved about that ship. Yes, right, Michelle? Absolutely. So we're going to go through, I think we got 12 items. There's some of these have like several in one item, like categories. But we're going to try to run through this real quick so we can get this under 10 minutes. I don't know if we can or not, but let's try. It's a challenge. All right. So one thing that we loved about the Carnival Magic was the seating. Yes. The seating was uh, for this ship was one of the best I've seen on any Carnival ship we've been on. No complaints. At um, all. From bigger people like ourselves, it was a, a lot of um, fluffy, friendly seating so throughout the ship, everywhere. Yes. Um, Michelle, you want to talk about some of the other seating items we like? Sure. Um, there were loungers on both sides of deck five, um, which were really cool. Um, down the perimeter of each side, there were um, many, many loungers, and we haven't seen that on any other ship. All right. Now, Carnival Horizon has on deck five some seating mm -hmm. uh, that is nice on outside. This went really deck five goes all the way around the whole ship, right. and it's on both sides. They have you know the pig and anchor on one side. And the other side is like a smoking section towards the after the ship on five, but really nice seating on deck five. Also, you had the ocean plaza area was nice and wide and spacious. Um, uh, it kind of, it and Alchemy Bar are kind of together. That might be a, a con, but there was still plenty of room there to see the band playing yes. uh, and nice seating in that area. Very comfortable. Very comfortable. So the MDR also, we noticed um, some ships are kind of cramped and the seats are all together. It wasn't nearly as bad on this ship as we have experienced in the past. Um, everywhere we sat, we have plenty of room. And then last in the seating section is the atrium seating. So on the atrium, which was I think three, four, and five, mm -hmm. I think those were the three decks. Um, I'm not a big fan of the green stuff that's going on. Some people love the green on the Carnival Magic. But it's really cool there to see the elevators come up and down and then you can sit right there and overlook that so you're you can be on three four or five and kind of look down or up and it's uh, again nice wide spacious seating yeah the best i've seen on any cruise ship i've so, never seen seats um in the atrium looking over the atrium before on another ship so yeah that was really nice really nice um so number two on our list is the casino um they have two casinos there they've got one that has smoking and one that is smoke free. Of course, we don't smoke, so we like the smoke free casino, okay. which is on deck four towards the aft. It's still middle aft. Um, and it's uh, it's nice to be down there with no smoke if you don't smoke. Right. And the bar service was great. It that, was, and that's the first time we've experienced we've, uh, we, that. Uh, we get free drinks in the casino sometimes, and it's never worth it to us because they never come up and give us right. A drink, but they were constantly coming Multiple by. Multiple offers, offering drinks all the time in the casino. Yes. So number three, Michelle. Number three is the food. Overall, we had a great food experience. The MDR was excellent. We went twice and could not complain about anything. So nice. Yeah, and then the normal like guys in blue iguana, they were great as well. And Michelle mentioned the MDR. The Sea Day brunch was in there. And uh, it was we had it twice, and it was it was good both times. So I thought yeah. it was uh, C Day brunch was really good. We also ate it, guys, twice, and it was fresh and delicious both times. Yeah, it was really good. Um, there will be a con coming out on food for one place, but one place. Or actually, we're going to keep it positive here and talk and about half. the positive. Yeah, one and a <laughs> half. Um, so uh, yeah, and the food, like especially Don and Kachinas, was great as well too. Because we paid for that. Yes, it uh, was. Kachinas uh, Del Capitano's was great on a specialty dining. Yes. Um, so next is our balcony room. Michelle, what did right. you like about our balcony room? So I don't know if it was specific to our room or all balcony rooms, but it was the same length, but it was at least a foot and a half to two foot wider, um, which made it seem so much more spacious. Yeah, it did seem like it seemed like it wasn't as cramped as much. I don't know why. We've had suites before, we've had balconies before, mm -hmm. and um, and had a balcony. I think on the sunshine, really didn't care for it. Um, it. I mean, it was it was fine, but it just felt smaller. This one felt like you had another foot or two wider, and with three of us in one room, it, it, it did feel better. We could all pass each other with no problems right. in this room. And then also on the balcony on deck nine, that's where we had our room on deck nine. There's pros and cons of that too. But deck nine had an overhang. So 
you were not in the sun all the time when you were out on the balcony. So that was a nice plus it was. having that overhang. It's the best of both worlds. You could see some, but it wasn't beating directly down on us. It was nice. So number five on our list is the atrium. Um, we kind of mentioned the seating in the atrium was an awesome area as well, but they had violinists playing there. It was nice and big and spacious. Again, right. we use that word a lot. Um, you know, just seeing the elevators, it was just, I don't know. It's, it's just nice something area. about it. I really like the area. You could sit there, you go down to the bar and get a drink. Um, it was just a nice area overall. I thought the yes. atrium was really cool. I'm not a big fan of the greenish color, but take that out. It was a really nice area, in my opinion. Yes. Uh, and then number six, Michelle, one of your favorite places to go hang out. I do love this place. Quit. Um, <laughs> it was the Red Frog Pub. Um, some ships, they have it. Um, near something else and so it takes away specifically the sunshine um, it takes away from the red frog pup but this was totally separate it had their own music playing actually was never really crowded we oh. could just go in there and listen to the music and just hang out and it was just really nice and i love it in there yeah, they had a cool area to go off off of that too that you can go out there and they had the, like those gliders out there mm -hmm. uh, to sit uh also that's on deck five um so also is number seven is the lido deck yeah. man it just seemed like the lido deck was really huge on this ship um we watched for the first time we went and saw uh, movies at night or mm, under the stars yeah. wherever it's called that was really cool there was plenty of loungers out there yeah. Uh, the pool is not the biggest pool out there, yeah. but it's still a decent size. But the, the deck itself is just a lot of room there for loungers. Uh, the sail away party, which we already put a video out for it. You can just see how many people are on that uh, Lido deck on 10 and just packed. But it seems like it's bigger than some of the other ships we've been yes. on. So big, big fan of Lido deck. Also, what we like about a Lido deck too, and this kind of goes into seating as well, is if you go up to deck 11, they have this like, uh, overhang again, another overhang or another level above it. So you can kind of sit in the shade and one side smoking, one side's not smoking, but it's still a nice area. You can, you know, be one level up and look down right. over the Lido and deck. Evidently, lots of people agree with us because those are um, a hot commodity and they hard were. to get. They were. Uh, number eight, Michelle? Um, was the staffing and the service overall. We had really good service except for one instance. Um, our room store was awesome. He was really great. They knew our names. Um, anytime they would see us out in the hall, just super nice. Super, super friendly. Nice. Yes. Really nice. Anything we needed, anything we wanted, we got immediately. Yeah. And number nine, we're going to say this one because this is one you normally <laughs> don't say, but after coming off the Carnival Horizon and an epic <laughs> failure with the elevators, uh, elevators. Had no issues with the elevators. When you hit the button, they came and they picked you up. They took you where you needed to. You know, the only thing we had a problem with on the elevators was the last day getting off when the we ship. Were trying to disembark. And we were on deck nine trying to come all the way down to deck three, and every elevator was full. And every other person was doing the Everybody same. Everybody was doing the same thing. So we ended up having full of to luggage. ride up and then ride back down again. But uh yeah, it was it was you know, debarkation was kind of kind of rough with the elevators there. But overall, Elevators were great, even on opening embarkation day. Yes. You could go where you wanted to go. And it there was a lot of them. Yeah, and there's a lot, it feels like there was a lot of elevators. Yes. Um, Michelle, number 10. Um, I think you've already touched on 10, but the deck, how it goes all the way deck around. Five. Yes, it goes all the way around the ship, which is a really cool thing. Yeah, they got some secret decks as well. Separate vlog coming out for that. <laughs> Uh, but we'll show you separate uh, secret vlogs, but also deck five, like I mentioned earlier, uh, it went around the entire ship. So if you're exercising and you want to, you know, get a complete walk around, normally at the front of deck five, that is a crew only area. It was open quite a bit on here. So I don't know, I'm not saying it's always going to be open, but deck five is usually a crew only area at the forward of the ship. Uh, it was open so people could come all the way around and walk the whole ship on deck five. Also, Deck 5 had those uh, like jacuzzis or hot tubs uh, on each yes, side. And that was something different I haven't seen on any of the other cruise ships we've, we've been on. So that was pretty cool to see that as well. Yes, it was nice. All right, Michelle, number 11. That was um, the shows. The entertainment was good. Um, I went to one of them. I normally don't <laughs> go to the shows because I can't stand <laughs> to hear Guns N' Roses sing an opera or... 
Highway to Hell, which they don't sing that one, but you know what I mean. I can't stand to hear classic rock singing like an opera type. It just drives me crazy. I didn't go to that. Michelle did. You said it was really good. Yes. America Rocks, I think, was the name of it. Anthony and I went. We had a lot of fun. They had a section for Anthony to go up and get a fake tattoo, and they had all kinds of props, and um, we had a great time. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, I did go to Flick. And I thought Flick was really good. It was the yeah. first time I've seen that show. Yes. I like the way they did it. They had the you know the little game in front at the beginning of it, mm -hmm. then the actual movie. I mean the the show itself. And there was one main uh, actor there. I mean a uh, performer that was out the whole time. Did an incredible job. Yeah, he was outstanding. And I thought they did a really good job overall. One thing we did notice on this ship, and maybe they do it on all ships, and we and we just now noticed it on this one, was the same. A carnival magic band that played in the ocean plaza area they yes. also played in the uh i've never noticed the america that rocks before. band so they they were the same guitar bass players singers same band overall playing in the that's, show um, a maybe that's a normal thing i don't know kind of thing because i've never noticed that before but uh and last on our list is number 12 the flow of the ship um overall i enjoyed the flow of the ship i want to go on the carnival magic again yes this time with less kids on the ship that's yes. a separate vlog. Wow. Uh, it was it was rough when we went. We went during spring break, uh, 2023. But Never the again. flow of the ship, I think, is great. I love the aft of all ships, but you had, you know, ten there with food and nine. Um, I mean, we were on nine, but you had ten with food, and then you go all the way down to three to the southern restaurant if you had any time dining or see day brunch. Mm -hmm. Then you went up to uh, you know four and five for the casino. But if you're in the aft of that ship, everything is. Everything's better than the aft. <laughs> it's, uh, I, I may need to delete yeah, that I out. So. I don't know. But, because I'm not agreeing. Oh, so we really like the flow of the ship overall, though. Five uh, is a great area. You could get off the five aft, kind of walk through the whole area. You got Ocean Plaza, Ray Frog Pub there. Yes. You got, you know, if you like barbecue, they got the guys barbecue on the outside of five. Um, but it's a really cool area overall. Yes. All right. So that's our list of our top 12 things we like about the carnival magic things we love about it we definitely would do the ship again right michelle absolutely without a second thought all right so be looking for our our cons there's not quite as many on the on the cons list as there was on the love thing that we love about but the carnival there's a few there's a few and there was some, a couple of bad experiences we'll let you know about them as well please like and subscribe to lovey's fat life for your food and travel videos we love cruising. We like going to the Smoky Mountains. We're doing a ton of cruising this year before cruises booked. Thank you for joining us. Bye. Bye.